Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video, I am going to discuss about the HBSC coding questions that were asked recently. The input format for this coding question is the user needs to enter an integer which indicates the size of an array. For example, if the size of the array is 6. In the second line, the user needs to enter 6 elements and stores the 6 elements in an array called array1. In the third line also, the user needs to enter 6 elements and stores the 6 element in an array, namely array2. After taking these inputs from the user, we need to perform some operations. After that, finally, we are going to return an integer as final output. Let's, say, let's take a short look on sample test cases. The n value is 6 here, the n value is 6. After that, the user enters 6 elements in array 1 and in third line, the user takes 6 elements and stores that 6 elements in an array called array 2. If you observe the output, the output is a single integer value that is 17. How the output is 17? We need to understand the logic and apply that same logic in programming. Here we are giving an explanation. So let's observe that explanation how the output is 17. So firstly we need to take first element in the first array and last element in the second array. By multiplying those two values, we are getting 9 as output. So the first element is, the first element in array 1 is 1 and the last element in array 2 is 9. 1 into 9, 1 multiplied by 9 means 9. And next, the second element in the first array and the second element in the second array from last is 6. 6 multiplied by 4 that is 24. Similarly, the next element that is the second element in the first array that is array of 2 multiplied by array of 3. We are getting 21 as output. Array 1 of 3 star array 2 of 2. We are getting 10. By doing these operations until and unless it will reach end of the array. By adding these all values, we are getting 17 as output. I hope all of you understand the logic very well. I am going to execute this logic in programming. I am using Java as my programming language. In Java, the first statement is class. I am creating a class namely HBSC. After that, click static void main, public static void main takes parameters as string ox. After that, we need to take integer input. In Java, if you want to take any input from the user, we need scanner class. So, scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in the scanner class is available in util package so we need to import that scanner class from util package so import java dot util dot scanner after creating object to the scanner class we are using that object to call any functions that is we are having sc dot next int next int means it is used to take any in integer input from the user so we need to take integer input right i am taking integer input namely n equal to sc dot sc is the object for scanner class and next int is the function that is available in the scanner class sc.nextint. After taking array size, 
we need to initialize two arrays namely array 1 and array 2 so int array 1 equal to new new int of size size n next i'm creating array 2 array 2 equal to new new int of size n after initializing these two arrays we need to take in integer values and store that integer values in an arrays so i am using for loop why because in array 1 we need to take 6 values from the user so i am just iterate by using for loop for int i equal to 0 why because array indexes are starts from 0 and ends with array of n minus 1 so it is less than or equal to n it will take inputs up to n minus 1 so array of array 1 of array 1 of i i indicates 0 in first iteration in second iteration the i becomes 1 in third iteration the i becomes 2 it will iterates the loop until and unless the i value is less than n for example the n value is 6 and the i value is also 6 it will exits from the loop why because i 6 is not less than 6 so it will exit from the loop array of i equal to sc dot next int of it will take integer input why because arrays are of type integer so first array elements are inserted similarly we need to insert second array elements also int j equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus array 2 of array 2 of j equal to sc dot next int after taking two array values i mean after inserting array elements into the arrays we just simply take first element in the first array and last element in the second array then we are going to product these two values and finally the result is sum up with the values so i'm using for loop why because array is consist of collection of values so i'm using for loop to get each and every element value in the array int i equal to 0 why because array arrays are starts with 0 at every time 0 i less than n i plus plus i'm taking i'm replacing less than n with array 1 dot length by taking n and array 1 dot length is same so i am replacing with n with array 1 dot length so n equal to n minus 1 this is why because we want we want index at last right so if you take n as index it will return an error array bounds index error why because n value is 6 array of 6 is not available that's why it will return an error so that's why i am reducing the n value to n minus 1 after that sum equal to sum plus what we are going to do we are going to product the first element in the first array and last element in the second array so first element array one of first element means array of i i 
value is 0 in first iteration and last element in the second array array 2 of last element means n minus 1 n value is 6 in first iteration n minus 1 means 5 the value is 5 in each iteration the n values and i values decreased and increased simultaneously after completion of this for loop we are going to just simply print sum system dot out dot print of sum if you observe the program carefully you are identifying an error that is sum is used here but sum variable is not declared anywhere so i am going to declare int sum equal to 0 initially the sum value is 0 let's save this program saving open command prompt cd cd slash cd space python madhu cd space java collections sorry java collection is not available java collections is the folder name after that java c java c is used to compile the java file file name dot java h b s c dot java it will successfully compiles after that i am going to execute java h b s c let's give the input 6 what is the input in the sample test case the input in the sample test cases is one four three five seven eight and after that minus five five two minus seven six nine if you observe the output the output returns 17 as output this will shows that the program will execute the program successfully i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any queries about this program please comment it below thanking you all